How are you? Welcome to uh, day one of your journey here at Durham College, and welcome to uh, On Air Hosting and Show Prep. This is your um, your first dip into the world of radio, and uh, this, is a, this is a radio class, and we're going to be doing lots of cool stuff. I'll go over what we're going to be doing in the class, how the class will work. I'm going to go over the equipment and expectations, what we'll, what we'll be doing, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, first, a little introduction of myself. My name is Craig Robertson. I um, have been in radio for over 30 years. I started in the early 90s. Um, I graduated from the Seneca College radio program. And, um, and I went to my first job was in Europe. I worked in Germany for uh, Radio Canada. And uh, that was an amazing experience. I did the afternoon drive show there. And when I moved back to Canada, I ended up in Peterborough. And I did um, it's kind of swing. Swing is a term meaning like you're kind of like the fill-in guy. You do weekends and you fill in on afternoons and evenings and whatnot. I was a swing announcer at Country 105, a really big country station in Peterborough. And then I did the morning show at Energy for about five years in Peterborough. And after leaving there, I worked uh, for Durham Radio, which is right down the street from uh, from the college on Taunton Road. I did middays at KX96, a really popular country radio station. And I did mornings on 94 on the Rock for about eight years. And, um, and since then, uh, about seven years ago, I left the Rock and I have been um, teaching. And I currently am the swing announcer for 105.9 The Region. I host the morning show uh, as fill-in and I'd host the afternoon drive show. So this past summer, uh, I was on the radio quite a bit doing fill-ins for holiday time. And during the course of the semester, you know, there will be times where I'll be doing shifts at 105.9 The Region over the Christmas holidays. I do a lot of fill-in. Uh, as far as my teaching background, I've been teaching in the program since the inception of, uh, of Durham College, uh, the radio program, since so about eight years ago. I think we're going into our eighth year. Uh, I've been teaching this class, and I also teach the talk radio class in second year and also the radio programming class in second year. I also did a lot of teaching at Seneca College, my alma mater. Uh, I taught um, on-air hosting there for close to 20 years. Um, so that's my background. That's where I come from. I come with a ton of experience on the air. That's all I've ever done really in radio. I've done a little bit of promotions. I've actually taught the sales and marketing class here too. But my background, my expertise is in being on air, hosting, creating content, reading news, having fun, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and and it'll be my job to guide you and to help you in your your journey to being a, a good on-air personality. And that's the one thing I want to let you know that you, if you're coming into this and you do want to be on the air, that's great. If not, that's great too because, you know, we all have different ideas of what we want to do in this industry. And um, just keep your mind open. Keep your options open to what you want to do. You might be starting today thinking, you know, I want to be on air. And next thing you know, you're, you love editing in the, in the TV world. Or um, you, you're thinking that you only want to be behind the scenes. You might surprise yourself how, how, how well you sound on the air. So we're going to navigate that. We'll get there. I'll help you. We'll get there together. Okay. Um, how the class will work. I'm going to be preparing a lecture like this. There's 29 in the class. So it's my preference to do a video lecture. Um, and so every Thursday morning at 8 a.m., this video lecture is going to appear. Uh, on DC Connect, okay? So get familiar with DC Connect, get familiar with what it is. So that's going to be your main portal for finding the lectures, finding your assignments, handing in your assignments. That's where all the marks will be handed in via. Uh, I'm pretty well versed on DC Connect. I use it. I know some profs kind of don't, but I'm big into using DC Connect and uh, it'll be our main way of communication and email as well, okay? But I'm going to be putting up announcements on DC Connect um, uh, that will be in conjunction with a lot of the emails I'll send out. So make sure that you're you're connected to DC Connect and get used to it, okay? So every week there's going to be this lecture. There's also going to be a little side PowerPoint that I will add, and any audio or video um, material I'll add that to the portal as well. So everything will be there for you, okay? Um, and the class, the way it's been structured over the past seven years, really, really allows itself to be to do this virtually because there's going to be an assignment every single week a little like I do in a live class I just come in and I do a little lecture for half an hour or so and then boom let you guys go do the work so it's not going to be much different the only the only obstacle is obviously um, us communicating and me helping you along we will do that via email 
okay, or via video chat if that's your preferred method. I'm going to leave it up to you individually, okay? Uh, some of you are fine with email and the preference of using email, I'm totally fine with that. But if, if, if some of you would prefer to do a live video chat, we will accommodate that and we'll set up a time and we can we can do that. I'm here for you. I want to be here for you through, throughout the semester. Feedback is really, really important for me. I will be giving you feedback every single week on your assignment. It'll be an email feedback via DC Connect. You'll see it on the on the assignment portals. And uh, but if you want some verbal feedback as well, feel free to reach out. I'd be more than happy to have a video chat with you to talk about your performance and talk about where you're going. Okay, so know that the means of communication are open for for any means for for myself. Okay, um, as far as equipment is concerned, if you joined us yesterday for the or on Tuesday rather for the open house, you know that. Uh, we all need laptops, okay? So I'm actually using my little laptop here to record this. It's a MacBook Pro that's supplied by the school. You're gonna have a, you're gonna have to have a, a laptop um, and hopefully a phone. I do have an iPhone and uh, I use that. But hopefully you have an iPhone or, or something that we you can record your voice on, okay? You're gonna be getting a little lav microphone, not like this microphone back here. Um, all right, but a little, it's a lapel microphone. You see a lot of TV people using those. They will be supplied to you, okay? Um, you, you better to talk to Phil or to Patrick about that. They're the ones who will be administering the lav microphone for you, okay? So we're not going to start to dip into using those in, for a couple weeks, so I always give a little grace time for you getting going and getting all your materials and up and running. But in two weeks from now, try to have all your materials on the go so we can start recording stuff and you can start recording assignments, okay? Um, once again, communication with me. If you're having a struggle getting your material, let me know. I'd be happy to have a discussion with you as far as extensions or something like that, okay? Uh, you're going to get that Adobe Cloud. You're going to get the uh, all the all the programs, the software to download. For this class, you're going to be using Adobe Edition. In Patrick's class, he's going to be the one that's going to teach you how to use Adobe. I'm very versed on it as well, so I can help you and assist you down the way. You are going to need to really know Adobe well, uh, because at the end of this class, you're going to be a podcast that you're going to have to produce on on. Uh, on Adobe Edition, there's no other way. And it's an industry standard program, so if you know how to use it, you're good to go. A lot of radio stations have Adobe Edition, okay? So uh, make sure you get uh, used to using those, because when it comes time to editing things on Adobe Edition, you're gonna have to do it for this class when you're doing your voice work, okay? But for now, your phone and your little lav are fine for the, 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 the assignments that are gonna be happening early on in this semester, okay? As far as the assignments, I'm going to get to my expectations soon in just a sec. As far as assignments, what are we going to be doing in this class? Well, you're going to be reading commercials, okay? You're going to be reading news and sports casts. You're going to be doing entertainment content. You're going to be doing rants, like, you know, uh, a rant against something. You can do a sports rant or something like that. Um, you're going to be doing interviews. You're going to be doing... Um, you're going to be doing mock radio shows. You're going to be doing narration. You're going to be doing voiceovers. You're going to be doing a, a podcast, which is going to be like your finale grand assignment at the, at the very, very end. And there is pretty much going to be an assignment every single week. So um, get ready to, to go to work. And, and it's not like I'm giving you a ton of like something that's not industry standard. When you go to a radio station, when I go to, to do a show, for example, at the region, I'm on the air for four hours. And I got off the air and I have to read commercials and I might have to do an interview with somebody that will be pre-taped for, for another time. Um, I might have to gather content from the show to put together as a greatest hits, like a, like a podcast to, to share on the website. So these are things that happen in the real world, the real business that I want to teach you. And we're going to do them. So we're going to do them all. So start expecting to be doing assignments every week, starting next week. Next week's assignment will be a listening assignment where you're going to be asked to listen to a radio station and um, you're going to gather your thoughts and gather some of the things that you hear. So that's next week. We'll, we'll dive into that uh, next week. So those are some of the things that we're going to be doing. I want you to really understand that your voice matters. And I want you to really, really dive into your passions. Um, along with being a, a radio um, professional, I've been for 30 years. I've been a lifelong musician. I sing and I play gigs and I do recordings. And I've been playing music ever since I was a kid. And uh, it's one of the reasons why I, I fell into radio is that I wanted to do something where 
I didn't want to be a struggling musician. I wasn't making any money in the early 90s, and I really wanted to find something that would keep me close to music and close to doing something creative. And that's where radio really kind of fell into my lap and into my life. So, And I know many of you, from meeting some of you at the orientation on Tuesday, are coming from a theater background. You might be coming from a background where you're doing YouTube shows. You have your own specialty channels. That's awesome. Okay, so embrace that. We will embrace those unique abilities that you each have and that you each bring to the table. I don't want to be ending this semester where everybody's sounding the same. You should sound like your individual self, and it's my job to help you get there and to navigate those little tricks. And I have lots of tricks and tips I can teach you as far as getting to the, the place that you want to uh, that you want to be. Okay, so be creative. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Try things. We'll work together, okay? We will work together to find your voice, to make yourself, uh, make yourself feel more comfortable turning on a microphone and talking. Sounds easy to do this, but it's, it can be challenging sometimes for some people, and it can be a little bit of a hurdle. So I'm here to help you, and don't worry. You're in a safe place. This is a safe place to land. Whatever you hand into me, I don't think I've ever freaked out on a, on a, on a, on a, on a student yet about what they've handed in or done. Um, but I will give you honest feedback and I will try to, to help you along the way in a positive way. I'm, I'm a big, big believer in constructive criticism. Okay. So, uh, that's what we're going to be, we'll be, we'll be doing. And, and I want you to be yourself. I want you to, if you're a sports fan, we're, you're going to have assignments where you're going to get to do sports stuff. If you're a fan of entertainment and movies, and you're going to have a chance to embrace that. If you like video games and, you know, stuff like that, comic books, boom, you're going to have a chance to do that. I've had people doing podcasts on rollerblading because that's their favorite thing to do or um, yeah, the list is endless and I want you to embrace that I want you to be unique in your own way with regards to finding your voice okay as far as expectations for the class are concerned um, as I said there's going to be an assignment every week I'll be posting everything on DC connect under the content page you might see it there a little content page so get used to using DC connect okay um, you are getting into an industry where deadlines are extremely important. 85% of this gig is showing up on time and doing the work, okay? Uh, I can't stress that enough, all right? So, you know, we're not in a real-life classroom now, so as far as, like, arriving late and stuff like that, I can't keep track of that. I want you to watch this video every single week. I want you to get into it. I want you to stay in touch with me and communicate with me so you can – navigate these waters as best as you possibly can that's what i'm here for okay in a real live classroom my expectations would be different because i would expect you to to show up on time for class just like you show up on time for a radio show so when i do the morning show at 105.9 the region i live in cambridge so i live a little bit of a hike away um i get up at four o'clock in the morning i set my alarm i might not have gotten a lot of sleep and i haul my butt uh, into vaughn and i do that shift and i'm on time and i'm ready Okay, kept me employed for 30 some odd years in this radio industry. It's really, really important to be reliable and to be on time. I can tell you a story when I was doing the morning show at 94.9 The Rock, the guy who was on after me, I'm not going to mention his name, um, his show started at 9. My morning show went from 5 until 9 a.m. and he was supposed to be on the air at 9, 9 o'clock in the morning. Oh, this, he went through this stretch where he was late. Late 9.30, 9.45, and I'm sitting there, my shift's over, I should be off the air, I should be doing the other things I need to be doing, like an interview, or reading a commercial, or uploading stuff for a podcast, or the website, or whatever. Um, so I finally asked the program director, I said, you know, is the midday show starting at 9.30 now? Because, you know, he's not coming in. And um, they had a discussion with him, and he was he was he didn't have transportation, and he was taking the bus, and the bus was late, but it just got too much, and he was let go. He was, and he was great on the air. He was a fantastic announcer. He just didn't show up on time. And um, so I'm not trying to scare you. And I think it's a really simple thing just to kind of show up and be on time. So because we're doing this virtually and because my lectures are canned, there might be some weeks where we go live. Um, but for now, I'm going I'm to upload them as, as this is. Um, you know, my expectations are to hand in your assignments on time. You're going to have way more free time than being in a classroom. You're not driving to school anymore. You're not trying to find a parking spot. You're not waiting for the bus. Boom, you've got the time at home to really, really work on this stuff, which is a bonus because in previous years, the students didn't have that luxury 
and it can be a very, very busy time. You're going to get bogged down at some points during the semester for sure. Um, but I do want you to hand things in on time, okay? This is a deadline industry, and I will your marks will be affected um, if you don't. That being said, life happens. Circumstances happen. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Geez, strange times. So if you need some extra time, please reach out and ask me, okay? Email me, and I'm totally understanding to listen to your story. If you need to have a little bit of time, no problems. If, if, if you don't communicate with me and you hand it in late, I'm assuming it's late and you're going to get doc marks. And I don't want to have, you know, uh, have some of saying, oh, I looked at all your lectures, I'm going to hand it in now. It's not going to fly, okay? And, and you're, you're not setting yourself up for, for, a, for, a, for a good start into this industry, okay? I'm saying this to help you guys. I'm not trying to scare you. It's just the real world. It's the real It's the real life, and, and you guys are getting into a business where this kind of stuff is super, super important. I, I, can't, uh, I can't stress that enough, okay? Um, anything that – I hope you're taking some notes as well. I think it's important to take notes. Of course, this video will be online, so you can go back and watch it anytime – that you like. Um, but yeah, so I want you to embrace your own unique voice, your own personality. I want you to start thinking about how you're going to use your voice. We're going to dive into that next week. We're going to talk about how your voice works and we're going to have some uh, some exercises. There's going to be a listening assignment next week and then the week following that you guys are going to dive into doing radio. You're going to be reading commercials, newscasts, writing them and executing them. Uh, it, it's going to be an amazing learning experience. Okay, between now and next week, there's something I would like you to do for me. Um, on my little PowerPoint, you're going to see an old-fashioned picture of me doing radio with my mullet. I grew up in Scarborough, so I had a mullet back then. Uh, it's me in front of a microphone at Seneca College in my college days. So that's on my PowerPoint. And a little bio of myself as well. I would like you to do the same, okay? And what I'd like you to just do it on your phone. And practice just talking on just practice talking in your phone because that's what you're gonna do and be doing mostly this semester, okay? I don't want it to be a written report. If you wanna put it on YouTube, you can, you don't have to. I really just want audio. Turn on your phone and tell me a brief story about yourself. And it could be as easily as like, hi Craig, I am so and so, and I'm really, really interested in being on air on the radio. I'm really interested in being a TV host. I'm really interested in having my own podcast. I'm interested in TV editing. Whatever it is your your game is, let me know because I want to know a little bit about you. And that's part of this too, this long distance thing. It's a nice way to kind of start off so we get to know each other a little bit better. Okay, um, tell me why you're, you've 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 decided to come to Durham College and into this program, and maybe a little bit of about, about your background. Maybe you come from. Uh, another program, maybe you've already graduated from the journalism program or you've done some university work or you're coming right out of high school where you did a radio show or you're just really interested in doing radio and TV and this is where you want to be. Tell me a little bit about yourself, whether you love sports, whether you love maybe your favorite TV show, your favorite movie. Um, I'm a big sports fan. I love the Leafs. Mm. Um, love the Blue Jays this year. Love the Raptors too. Hope they can pull out a win. Um, and um, yeah, so I'm a big sports fan and I'm a big music fan. I love all kinds of music. If I'm my favorite TV show would be, I don't know, what's my favorite TV show? I do like uh, old Seinfeld uh, reruns. They're, they're fantastic. And I love all kinds of music. I'm a big Radiohead fan. I love Led Zeppelin and stuff like that. So I could talk music until I'm blue in the face. And I'm talking a lot here. Sorry, it's my first class. I'm nervous. Um, but um, so tell me a little bit about yourself, an audio recording, boom, and email it to me. My email is at the bottom of the screen, okay? And I also have emailed you guys, I emailed you guys yesterday as a little hello. So you have my email address. So between now and next Thursday, 30 seconds, little brief bio of who you are. I'd love to hear your voice, and, um, and I'll listen to them all. And uh, it's not for marks, it's just to kind of get to know you, and I think that would be a great way to start, okay? If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Even if you want to chat as a video conference chat, send me an email and we'll set it up, okay? Um, feel free to shoot me an email anytime. I'd be happy to, to be there for you. Um, with that being said, um, we'll see you next week. Next week will be the first assignment. It'll be your listening assignment. Your lecture will be posted. And uh, if you have any emails or any questions, rather, shoot me an email and we'll set something up and I'd be happy to help you. Okay, I'm Craig. We'll see you next week. And uh, it's been great seeing you on this Thursday morning.